Hey, what's up guys? It's Rising Dulles, Kono Bandit here, and I am going to show you guys my Weather Painter deck profile with a uh, little True Draco engine inside it. It's a very small one though. But uh, moving on, um, going on to Weather Painter Snow, you gotta run three of these. Uh, she's the best one in the deck. Let's you search out any Weather Painter card by put, placing it exactly onto the field. You don't need to add it to your hand, just go straight on the field. So it avoids Droll and Lockbird and stuff like that. Um, moving on to that, we run two of the Weather Painter Thunder. Um, second best Weather Painter of the deck, uh, this is the one that you could send one of your weather uh, canvases from the field into the graveyard and then replace it with a different one. So this one moves on to combo with the next best one, which is Weather Painter Cloud, which when you have Weather Painters be sent into the graveyard, you can add two back onto the field. So you're able to uh, recover your, the Weather Painters you just lost. Uh, moving on from this, uh, we're running one sun, one rain, and one aurora. Uh, they're all pretty bad, but you need to run more weather painters just in case you're running the grind game and you got to add some other cards in your hand. They're not really good at all. I would get rid of them if I could find something better. But moving on, obviously, we're, we have our masterpiece right here. Run two of them. Um, that's why I say it's pretty small. We know what masterpiece does. We run two matches made in and we run one Ignis Heat, of course. And then we won one Dog Rand. If I had a, um, uh, what is it called? The, if I had the Turtle, I would run that one, but I don't. So moving on from that, um, we run three of the Weather Painter Snowy Canvas. This is the best one in the deck. It lets you uh, search out any weather, the weather card in your deck. And um, you, this is what you want to see in your hand. And this is what you want to place on the field if you don't have, it, uh, if you didn't get it from Snowy. Um, moving on from that, we run one of the Cloudy Canvas. Uh, this is the one that, um, uh, I can't even remember which one this one is, but, oh, this is the one that, um, that halves the attack of the Pota Monster, so it's pretty good because all the Weather Painters are pretty weak. Um, moving on from that, we run one Sunny. This is when you can tribute a Weather Painter to special summon one from your hand. And then moving from that, we run one Rainy. Rainy is the one that lets you balance a spell or trap card on the field. Uh, not too good, but you want to run at least one of each of the canvases. Moving on, we run two Valhalla, Hall of the Fallen. We run all fairies except for the true Dracos, so it's very good for uh, spamming out your monsters and really helps the deck out a lot. I run two of it because um, three is kind of stacky. Uh, moving on from that, we run one Disciples and one true Draco Heritage. We, we already know what those do, it's just to get your tributes out, get a little extra draws. Uh, moving on from that, Pot of Duality, run double of them. Pot of Duality is great, uh, especially in this deck. You don't do special summoning so much on your turn, more on your opponent's turn. Uh, so we have a lot of room to run Floodgates in this deck, so we run one Dimensional Fissure. Uh, you're banishing your monsters when you're using the effects, they come back, so it hurts your opponent more than yourself. We run one Magic Planner because we run so many um, uh, continuous traps in the deck, it lets you get some draws. I wouldn't run more than one though, because it's it, if you draw it and you don't have any on the field, it's pretty bad. Uh, moving on from that, we run the best trap card on the deck, the Thundery Canvas. This is the one that lets you bounce your opponent's monsters back to their hand. And um, it's, it's just fantastic, it's, especially if they attack you, you can bounce their monster back. And it just lets the game go on for a long time. Uh, Royal Canvas is a very interesting card. We run one of those, it lets you... Um, if your opponent adds a card to your hand, you can banish that card they just added, and then they get to draw a card, or you can do it for yourself. So if you don't like what you just added to your hand from a draw, then you then you could just banish it and um, add, draw again. So it's pretty nice. Um, moving on from that, we run one Apocalypse, one True King's Return. We already know what that does. Um, other than that, we run two Dragon Mirror Force because you, if you don't have your True Dracos out on the field, uh, you're pretty. You have an empty field for most of the turn, so it's really good for just um, keeping your plays going on, keeping the game go longer. Because Weather Painters really do need a lot of time to get going. Uh, we run one Torrential Tribute because the Weather Painters can avoid that by using the canvas effects in uh, succession so they banish themselves and then your monsters don't get destroyed. We run one Anti-Spell just because Anti-Spell is really good in this format. And then of course one Solemn Warning because Solemn Warning is Solemn Warning. So uh, other than that, that's the main deck. Um, Weather Painters are a very slow deck. Um, they're really fun to play though, but uh, moving on to the extra deck. You're not going to be doing a lot of extra deck summoning in this, but um, we, we, got, we do what we can. So two of the Weather Painter uh, Rainbow. It's fantastic, it's just terrible to get out. Like it's almost impossible. It's probably one of the best link monsters if it, was so, if it was easier to get out. It could literally negate anything. So we run two of those. 
I'm moving on, we run one deco talker, we, of course, one topological, we know what that does. One trigate, probably never gonna get that out, but might as well. Uh, moving on, we run a little uh, rank three toolbox, we run a break sword, we run uh, super quantum, we run the nightmare shark, we run Vitam Dragon, Acid Golem of Destruction, Totem Bird, because uh, you are able to actually, if you get two of the clouds out, it's pretty nice, but um, that probably never happens. We run a Terabyte, and we run uh, Dianthus. These are all just rank threes, Mellow Melody, the Brass Gin, Brettosaurus, like one more. That These are just generic rank three cards that you could run. You're never gonna do this, you're more gonna rely on your main deck, but it's just nice to have just in case. But uh, yeah, guys, that's just a Weather Painter profile with a little Tree Draco mixed in there. Um, let me know what you guys think. I know like there's a lot of profiles going out there of what the ratios of different cards. So um, let me your give me your opinions. Um, tell me if you think anything needs to be changed. But let me know what you think about Weather Painters as a whole because I love Weather Painters. So yeah, guys, um, have a good day. Peace out.